Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hey Virgo, so I'm going to tell you something I know you don't want to hear this week, but it is nonetheless the truth. So this is for the week of June 18th. And Virgo, the first thing that's happening this week on Monday, as we have got our very nebulous, foggy energy, fantasy, forgiveness, compassion energy of Neptune going retrograde, which this is your opposite energy in the sign of Pisces. So it's going to be affecting your seventh house. Now, when Neptune goes retrograde, of course, like any other retrograde, we review, revise, re consider, reevaluate, all of those things we read, we go back. But one of the things you're going to be looking at is the relationships that you have in your life and not so much whether or not they should still be in your life, but more so Virgo about how you're showing up in them. That's going to be absolutely critical for you at this time. This is the thing, Virgos, you're so good at just hanging in there until the wheels fall off, right? You usually fix it before the wheels fall off, but you're so good at that and making it look good and making it look easy. And the question that is being called to you all of this week, especially because we've got a quarter moon happening in your sign and a quarter moon says, hey, adjust. We need to, we need to look at something here, right? So something that's going to be coming up is why are you showing up the way you're showing up? Right? Is it time for you to let go of the reins of something? Are you trying to perfect something? Because when Neptune is retrograde, instead of being foggy and hazy, what we do is we get clarity. So you'll have a chance over the next five months, but it all kicks off this week, to get pretty introspective about some relationships you've got in your life and about how you're showing up to them. Most specifically, you've got to take back some of your own power this week, Virgo. You have to stop giving and giving and giving until there's nothing left to give, and this is the thing. You're the sign of perfection, and I'm a Virgo rising, so I get it. We make it look really good like it's no big deal, but it's draining us somehow on the inside. Ask the question about, can this person handle this on their own? Do I need to handle this for them? Or can they do this by themselves? Allow the people around you, Virgo, to be messy and to grow up on their own as well. Now, that doesn't mean you just jump ship and get out of the game because at the end of the week, we have got the sun moving into Cancer, which first of all moves us into summertime. So, hey, welcome to summer, okay? But also, this lights up your 11th house, right? So while you're telling people, yeah, I can't handle your whole life, for you or no, I cannot possibly help you plan another event. I can't be the co-planner with you. I can't take on another project because your answer this week is no, but I can support you maybe in a different way. I can bring a dish for the party or I can tell you my experience on that so you can handle it on your own because the sun is going to light up your 11th house. So this is vital. You're going to want to be out. You're going to want to be social. You're going to want to do those things, but we don't need you to carry the weight of the whole show this week, Virgo. Now, I will tell you too that I saw Something I think is phenomenal because this is in the 11th house and it's such a sh social energy your socials your Twitter your Facebook your LinkedIn any of those things especially if you do any kind of freelance work get your life together get those things together update uh, update those places make sure that you are seen make sure that you are easy to find when's the last time you put your name into a Google search right like what's coming up when the socials are looking for you now another thing that um, seems to be coming up is maybe you're gonna be changing something this week just around your technology um, in and of itself so that could be something you're working on on as well. The last thing I always think about with the 11th house is that it's the house of long range plans, dreams, wishes, aspirations, those kinds of things. Now, if you're not having to carry everybody's weight, you can reformulate your own plan. 
what's good for you and yes you want to choose what's also good for the team Virgo but what's good for you what do you really want you still get to be a part of a group a tribe a collective tribe but what's good for you and what do you want these are big questions to ask and it's a very independent energy this week which requires you to take your your hands off and the chokehold off of some of the people and projects in your life in order to gain some clarity and use this energy well okay all right, Virgos, so this week, like, comment, share, subscribe, and also like Maria's page for your chance to grab a copy of the Hip Chick Tarot deck, which is very, very cool. So coming up, Maria's not only going to pull a card for you this week to help you focus in, but also tell you a little bit about the cards in her deck. So stay tuned, and I will see you next week, okay? I love you. Right, card. Bye. So as you can see, this woman is um, in her woman cave underground. She's... she's um, being surrounded by this tree of knowledge and wisdom. There's a little owl in there to indicate the wisdom. And she sits inside this dark chamber and there's a little candle. I think you might be able to see it, get it really close. And that candle represents her internal light. So she's being lit from within She's seeking the knowledge that can only be found by going within. So um, this card really validates that journey of the inward ex exploration that is, that is the spiritual path. So in, in the United States, um, I feel like our culture really validates getting out there and doing things and always being social and um, outgoing. But this card is here to support you spending time with yourself, to get to know yourself better, to, um, and to really explore that internal world. The, um, this woman also represents for you if the card comes up when you're reading about something practical, you're wondering um, what to do in a certain situation or um, how to handle something, she's telling you to take your own advice. You know what to do. Trust your instincts, your intuition. You don't really need to look to others for the answers because you have them.